Hello, welcome back. This is Calculus by Dr. Oz. Today, we're going to go over an exercise where we're going to sketch an ellipse by the given uh, uh, equations. Uh, in A and B, as you see, you're given two different equations. And, and our task is to find the center, foci, vertices, and eccentricity of uh, the ellipse first, and then sketch the graph of that. Okay, so uh, at this moment, it's better to uh, uh, remember uh, the standard equation uh, of an ellipse. Uh, so in this regard, you have uh, two different kinds. In one case, you have the major axis to be horizontal. In the other case, the major axis is to be uh, vertical. Okay, so uh, to be able to write down each equation, uh, so you should have the knowledge of uh, the center coming with the coordinates h and k. And you also need a and b, as you see they pop in the bottom of those fractions. So uh, a and b refers to, in fact, 2a is the, is, the, uh, is the length of the major axis, and 2b is the length of uh, the minor axis. So half of those would be a and b uh, in, in, in this formulation. And also we have uh, two different foci uh, for an ellipse, uh, and they are c units far from the center, and c is connected through a and b by the formula uh, c squared equals uh, a squared minus b squared. So we're, we're going to also use uh, this formula along the way. So please keep it keep this uh, in a safe, and we're going to refer back to that in the video. All right, let's get started. All right, let's stare at part A. Uh, we're given uh, the equation of an ellipse. Uh, 3x squared plus 7y squared equals 63. And we're going to find the center, foci, vertices, and the eccentricity uh, of this ellipse. And let's go back to uh, the standard uh, equation form uh, uh, of an ellipse. So we have two different kinds. One kind is, is where the major axis is horizontal, and the other one is the one, uh, one coming with vertical major axis. Okay, so we have the center, uh, H and K, uh, of an ellipse, and as well, uh, major and minor axes of uh, lengths 2A and 2B, respectively. Those A and B guys pop uh, in here in the equation, okay? And, and here, one thing is that A is uh, greater than B, so depending on... Uh, the major axis, the form changes, uh, but but to be able to write down the equation of an ellipse, we need only the uh, coordinates of uh, uh, the center and A and B, okay? And, and we can also determine C out of this uh, equation here, uh, and that would tell us exactly what the eccentricity uh, of an ellipse is, okay? In fact, it's, it's, it's coming uh, out of this formula. We're gonna look at the ratio of C and A, okay? So, uh, so let's just uh, go back to the question statement and start. Uh, well, one thing is that um, the equation of the ellipse have the right-hand side always 1. So we should start probably dividing, uh, dividing both sides of the equation by 6 to 3. Okay? So I have 7y squared over 6 to 3 to be equal to 1. Okay? And that implies that 3x squared, uh, well, x squared over 21, right? x squared over 21 plus y squared over 9 is equal to 1. Now we are in, uh, in, in, in the form, uh, standard equation form of an ellipse, okay? Uh, here we go. Let's go back here. So we have, uh, we have a... We have two numbers here, right? One is like uh, a squared, the other one is b squared. So we have radical 21 and, and radical 9 for a and b. But remember that a is supposed to be greater than b. And obviously, uh, radical 21 is greater than radical 9. So going back to, uh, going back to this formulation here, uh, I have uh, the major uh, axis to be, uh, to be horizontal for this question. Okay, so uh, because a is greater than b, I have x minus h squared over a squared. Uh, here we go. So x minus uh, h squared over a squared. And in fact, I can I can rewrite this top as uh, x minus zero squared and and um, y minus zero squared here, so that uh, I can grab the center. The coordinates of the center 
uh, 0, 0, and we already have A and B. And, and, and we can uh, look at C squared uh, to be A squared minus B squared, okay? So 21 minus 9 is uh, 12, so C equals plus minus uh, 12, okay? And the foci are uh, C units uh, from the center to the left, to the right, in this case, because the major axis is horizontal. So let's go back to, uh, let's go back to here, and now let's try to come up with uh, the coordinates of foci, okay? So foci, so since the center is like uh, zero, zero, and we're going in the X direction, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, this is, by the way, a square root of 12, I'm sorry. That's C squared, right? So C is uh, square root of 12. Okay, to the left, to the right, so we're gonna have uh, negative square root of 12, zero, and plus square root of 12, uh, zero. Um, uh, for the coordinates of foci. How about the vertices? Okay, vertices are A units far from the center, okay? So we have negative 21, radical 21, zero, uh, plus radical 21, zero uh, for the coordinates of the vertices, okay? And as I, as I told you, as I showed you earlier, uh, we have the eccentricity coming out of the ratio of uh, C over A, I'll just write this down here, E equals uh, C over A, and C equals uh, 12, A equals uh, radical uh, 21, and if you simplify this out, this is 2 radical 7 uh, over uh, 7. Okay, I think we got, we got all the information about the ellipse, including the center, foci, uh, vertices, and the eccentricity. Eccentricity is just telling us like how uh, flat the ellipse is. Okay, the closer uh, the closer it's to one, it's it's more flat. Okay, so uh, here we go. Let's just uh, graph this. Okay, so you can use your T eighty four at this moment and and pause the video and and just get exactly what I got here. So you have the center here. Uh, we have the center uh, right here at the origin. Uh, we have two foci here. Uh, and uh, we have the vertices right here. Uh, and we got the we got the coordinates of all of them down. And as you see, that the major axis is horizontal, and the uh, and, and the ellipse is a little bit flat because the eccentricity uh, is 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 closer to one. Okay. All right. So uh, that takes care of part A. Uh, and please move on to my next video to see what I'm going to do for part B. Bye.